You know, sometimes I lay in bed at night wondering whether or not I chose the wrong profession because, you know what, the gavel just feels so good in the hand. But then I realize it's okay because doctor's court is in session. Yeah. Okay, this first story, this first story is great in some ways and disturbing in others. This comes from Colorado. A 26-year-old woman was cited for blowing up a microwave at a convenience store. How, you might ask? She reportedly placed a urine sample in the microwave to heat it up, but it exploded instead. So the sales clerk, I'll explain this all in a minute. The sales clerk heard a loud bang, found yellow liquid dripping from the microwave and a strong urine smell to it. Oh. Police located the woman at a nearby clinic where she planned to take a urinalysis test for a potential employer. So apparently she, she had probably some synthetic fake urine, although it could have been someone else's, hers, and she was trying to heat it up to 98.6 degrees in the microwave so that people would think she had just Legit. provided the sample. It exploded <laughs> everywhere, and she ended up getting cited. I can't remember what the, what was the charge? Um, damaged property. Damaged property. $500. 500 bucks. Don't do drugs. <laughs> A good don't, way to start. don't do if, drugs. If you're going to fail your urine test, that's telling you something. Put, get your life in order. She, and she wanted to work at the health clinic. Spoiler alert, she didn't get the job. <laughs> but we do hope that she gets the health Yes. Yes. And <laughs> the judge of this court concurs. I am curious, though, in Colorado, now that marijuana is legalized, certain employers, when they do their drug screens, they have to probably use a modified screen because a typical drug screen will test for marijuana. And, and if it's legal, legal so you can't drive under the influence. Right, but if you had marijuana in your urine, I mean, that's legal. It's, it's Whether it's yeah. recreational or medicinal. Yeah. I gotta say, one of the best things about the Rocky Mountains is how high you get. And <laughs> Rocky Mountain high. Okay, another huge market out there um, for beer. Beer, crap beer in particular, has become really popular lately. Uh, how does this lead into the next story? 911, well, 911 meant for emergencies, right? What about this? 57-year-old Florida woman? Yeah, I'm gonna call 911, why? Her medical emergency, she was dying of thirst. All she wanted from the paramedics was a beer. She called 911 because she wanted a beer. Best part, this was her second time calling and misusing the 911 system, so she was ultimately arrested. Who calls 911 and then the paramedics come and, yeah, her. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard of beer me before, but this is crazy. She called twice in the same day, but this lady, apparently, she made like dozens of fa false calls to police in the past. 28 false calls to police. I, I have to get serious for a brief moment here because these are funny stories, but literally I like to use the scenario of, you do not know if that ambulance, yes. by going to her place yes. and being asked to give her a beer, you do not know if someone across the way died of a heart attack. You don't know that. And that's why we have to stop abusing the 911 system because you also have to remember the people in the call centers. And I haven't watched the show 911, apparently really popular, but it, I think it highlights it highlights how difficult the job is for a dispatcher yeah. trying to make these split second decisions. And if you're misusing that system, someone will die and ultimately that is on you. And uh, this woman, I and do not believe. And that is a crime to misuse it, so. It and is, and also, I mean, if she's making all of these false calls, honestly, people are gonna not take her seriously and she may really need 911 one, one day. And I'm not saying it would be right for them not to Good go point. when she calls, but Brian Wolf, I'm just and they're saying. like, wait a minute, are we gonna take you she seriously? She didn't cry right. wolf, she cried beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see how you're gonna rule on yeah, this one. Yeah, this one's up your, in the air. Your judgeship. Sure. I sentence her to community service. Okay. Yes. yes. And also, she has to spend a full day at the 911 call center to realize how difficult the dispatcher's yes. job is. I like it.